dice que como me estaba doliendo la cabeza. Uh, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, welcome, Good afternoon, guys. Teacher. Thank you. How's it going? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Fine. Good. Okay, it's a pleasure, guys, to be with you again. We're going to start now. It's one o'clock. Uh, welcome. I can see most of you, or most, some of you, are missing all the participants. And they are going to join us, I guess, in a moment. Good afternoon, one more time. Welcome. This is our class number three. I'm going to pass attendance right now. Please, as soon as you listen to your names, I will ask you to say present, please. Okay. Ana Emperatriz. Ana Maria. Ana Mercedes. Present. Thank you. Andrea. Carmen. Claudia Efigenia. Daniela. Edith. Presente. Thank you. Edma. Present teacher. Okay. Esmeralda. Ederson. Ever. Presente, present. Thank you. Iris Hernandez. Present. Oh, uh, it, it is it, it is Benitez Hernandez, right? Yeah. Present teacher. Okay. Well, I can see it is. Hernandez too, right? It is Hernandez de Cardona. Hi, good morning. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's okay, it's okay. No problem. Jose Chavez. Jose Chavez. Marcela. Maria Julia. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you, Ovidio. Video. Reina Ramirez. Present. Okay. Ricardo. Ricardo. Here. Yeah. Roger. Present teacher. Thank you, Roger. Rosa Granados. Rosa Granados. Sandra. Present teacher. Thank you. Sara Requeno. Present. Okay. Silvia Martinez. Present. Okay. Sonia Melara. Sonia. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie. Walter. Present. Thank you. And Jennifer. Present teacher. Good. Okay. Let's get started with the class. This is the class number three. Uh, well, I can see more participants, right? Ana Maria. I can see Ana Maria. Good afternoon, Ana Maria. Good afternoon, teacher. Present. Thank you. Andrea. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Present. Thank you. Gerson. You too. You too. Good afternoon. Thank you, Arizona. I can see Daniela too. Nice joining. All right. Good afternoon, Daniela. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Okay, well, I hope you're fine, guys. Let's start with the class. This is class number three. Um, but I was wondering if you have some questions about the platform. Lo primero, quisiera saber si hay preguntas con respecto a la plataforma. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Hemos avanzado? Comentarles, ¿verdad, ahorita? Oh, okay, I can see Ricardo. Good afternoon, Ricardo. 
Good afternoon. Can you hear me, Ricardo? Present, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, very good. But I can see Rosa too. Good afternoon, Rosa. How are you, Rosa? Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, how are you? How are you, Rosa? Are you okay? I hope you're fine. Thank you so much. I can see, I guess, Stephanie. Stephanie is joining the session. Good afternoon, Stephanie. Can you hear me? Buenas tardes. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? I hope, I hope you're good. Eh, recuerden, nuevamente repito, recuerden iniciar, bueno, cuando iniciamos, ingresen a, a Zoom, pues no es un nombre completo, ¿verdad? Veo que algunos todavía me están ingresando con un nombre y un apellido. Nombre completo, segundo y Siempre que ingresamos nos pide primer, apellido, primer nombre, parece que dice ahí, primer nombre y dice apellidos. Aunque diga primer nombre, hay que poner los dos nombres, si tenemos dos nombres, pero claro. Algunos que tienen que tener un nombre, etc. Según como aparece en el DUI, ¿verdad? Como aparece en el DUI, así como es como deben ustedes ingresar. Por favor. Allá les hice el cambio algunos ahí porque me aparecía en verdad un nombre y un apellido. No se nos olvide. No se nos olvide. Y también eso, Reina. Excelente. No se preocupe. También lo otro, nuestra cámara. No se nos olvide. Please. Eh, antes de iniciar, quisiera saber si hay alguien más ingresó ahorita. Esperamos, esperamos. Ah, Ana Beatriz. Good afternoon, Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Welcome. ¿Quién más además de Ana Beatriz ha ingresado? Ya pasé lista. Pero quiero para estar seguro que todos los que estamos acá ya están en lista, ¿verdad? Creo que solamente ella. Bueno, vamos a seguir. Bueno, al mismo tiempo quiero eh, compartir lo siguiente. Voy a compartir el link. Porque alguien me estaba preguntando si lo podía, le podía ver el link. En ese caso fue Marvin, me parece. Les voy a compartir el link al chat. Ese link es para ingresar al grupo de WhatsApp. Unirse. Si alguien no se ha unido, ahí está el, grupo de, el link para el grupo de WhatsApp. Perdón. Es que los que no se han unido, por favor, hagámoslo mediante o por medio de, de ese link, ¿verdad? Please. Ok, bueno, sigamos. Preguntas, dudas, comentarios. Hay quien sí, Esmeralda. Good afternoon, Esmeralda. Present teacher, good afternoon. Thank you. How are you, Esmeralda? Very good. Ok. Bueno, well, empecemos. Nuevamente, hay dudas, preguntas con la plataforma. Quiero mencionar lo siguiente. Ayer se nos, nos indicó a nosotros, ¿verdad? A los facilitadores que les indicaron, ¿verdad? Que les comentáramos acá en clase, claro, y por WhatsApp también. Pero lo voy a hacer acá y lo voy a estar recordando igual por WhatsApp. Debemos de avanzar la, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y ese día por lo menos debe de estar completo la sección 1 y sección 2. ¿Verdad? Si es que hagamos ahí ¿verdad? el espacio para poder completar las dos primeras secciones. Eh, y bueno, si hemos, nos hemos atrasado, la vayamos ahí, vayamos avanzando a modo de ir completando por lo menos esta semana la sección 1 y sección 2. Empezamos con la sección 1 y 2 en esos días, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, prácticamente eh, entre ahora y mañana iniciamos la sección 2 ya. Y ya la próxima semana estaríamos con la sección 2 y sección 3, ¿verdad? En clases. Sí, sí. En clases. Dígame. ¿Cuándo sería el último día para el 1 y 2? A más tardar, se nos dice que ahora, ¿verdad? Ahora es a la medianoche. Tenemos que tener el completo la sección okay. 1 y 2. Es a la medianoche, sí. Ok. Y de igual forma quisiera, ¿verdad?, saber si lo vamos bien, si no hay alguna duda, algún ejercicio que nos esté generando problemas, me pueden, ¿verdad?, preguntar. ¿No? 
Eh, teacher. Dígame. Uh, ¿Cuánto abarca cada sesión? Porque a mí me estoy aprendiendo a usar la plataforma. ¿Cuántos sí. ejercicios tiene cada sección? Perfecto. Eh, como lo comenté, ¿verdad? En las primeras clases, y lo repito nuevamente, no se preocupe, eh, cada sección cuenta con, bueno, diferentes ¿verdad? apartados, diferentes subsecciones, por decirlo así. Y de ejercicios se tienen, por lo general, se tienen de tres a cuatro, cuatro ejercicios, parte de ejercicios. Por ejemplo, la sección 2 tiene el 2.4, el 2.9 y el 2.12, que son de ejercicio. Son tres, ¿verdad? Pues les decir tres, tres partes de ejercicios. Lo demás, ¿verdad? Es importante también porque hay que leer, ¿verdad? Leer y ver el video. ¿verdad? Y contestarlos por la discusión. Pero cada sección consta de, de dos, perdón, de tres a cuatro ejercicios, por decirlo así. Cuatro subsecciones de ejercicios. Ok, gracias. Sí, y repito, ¿verdad? Por si alguien no, no se recuerda, la sección 1, 2 y 3 se completan en la primera y segunda semana. Es decir, esta y la próxima. Y la semana 3 completamos la sección 4. Ya en la última semana completamos la sección 5. Y recuerden que la próxima semana hacemos el meter. Eso sería, ¿verdad? Lo que... Siempre vamos a ir manejando, se va a ir mencionando en las clases, igual por WhatsApp, se van a hacer ese recordatorio para que ustedes sigan avanzando. Es que solamente voy a comentar eso y nos vamos con la clase. ¿Todo bien? Todo bien, sí. Ok, eh, menciono lo siguiente y lo voy a repetir al final. Recuerden que mañana vamos a tener clase, ¿verdad? Se va a reforzar lo de la clase del martes. Así es que siempre de una a dos. Por lo general vamos de lunes a jueves, ¿verdad? Con el horario de clases. Los viernes descanso, pero recuerden que su descanso fue el martes. Debido a que no, eh, no tuvimos la clase el martes, ¿verdad? Por el inconveniente que tuve. La próxima semana, Rosa, hacemos, eh, seguimos con la plataforma, ¿verdad? Con los ejercicios completados en la sección 3. Y hacemos el midterm. No se les olvide, el midterm test. Que es el examen que se hace a mitad de... De, de, de curso, que son cuatro semanas. Entonces, a la mitad de curso se hace meter. O sea, se, exactamente se hace el jueves, perdón, el mismo jueves, que sería la semana dos, que se completa. ¿Y se hace en la plataforma? Sí, siempre en la plataforma, siempre está acá. Yo se lo voy a explicar un día antes, un miércoles. Ok. Es, que sacan en la sección tres está meter. Acá está, son seis partes. Siempre en la plataforma, todos se hacen en la plataforma. Acá está, son seis Gracias. secciones. Excelente. Bueno, si no hay más dudas o preguntas, seguimos. Ok, let's, go with the, let's continue with the simple present. Simple present questions. Uh, yesterday, we saw simple present statements, right? We saw two forms. Do you remember the two forms? Affirmative and... Negative. Negative. And, and negative, negative, exactly. Negative. Yeah, so today we're going to see simple pressing questions. And specifically, we're going to talk about yes, no questions. And we will see WH questions. Or we can call them information questions. Be the same. Be the same. Just some questions. Or and sorry. WH questions. Oops, I forget. WH questions or information questions. Be the same. When we say just some questions, we get sure answers. Sure answers. When we talk about information questions, we use long answers. Or we give long answers. Damos respuestas cortas, yes no questions, and WS questions, respuestas largas, con más información. Okay, so here we have the questions. These are just no questions, and these ones are information questions. These ones. These ones are information questions. What is the way we structure a just a question? Let's begin with just questions. 
Okay, the first thing that you have to know is that we have do, and we use that, right? These are called auxiliary verbs. So some auxiliaries. And the formula is, or does, plus subject, plus verb. The verb is always in base form in a question. In the complement to the question mark. Remember, this is called the question mark. Question mark. It is necessary in a question, right? That is the way. Just some questions. Remember, show answers. For example, I will say, do you watch TV uh, in the afternoon, for example? That is a question, right? So we we'll say do, is auxiliary, subject. This is the verb in the base form, and this is the complement. That is the way. Do you watch to be in the afternoon? And remember that because those are just no questions, you answer yes or no, yes or no. So with this kind of question, do you watch to be in the afternoon, you answer, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Those are short answers, short answers, short answers, okay? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. If it is an, a question with it, with the third person singular. Do you remember third person singular? What is the third person singular? He, she, it. Exactly. We have he, she, and it. That is the third person singular. Absolutely. With the third person singular, you know, we use das, right? Das. And you say, right? Does he listen, watch TV in the afternoon? That is the way. Does she, does he, sorry, watch TV in the afternoon? So the verb, as you can see, is in the base form. Why? Because we have the auxiliary. Does. We don't say, as we saw yesterday with the affirmative form, we don't say watches. Does he watch TV in the afternoon? No. That is incorrect. So the verb is always in base form. El verbo siempre se informa base. Does he watch to be in the afternoon? It's the same with the negative form and with questions. The same. Es lo mismo. En negativo y en en pregunta, perdón. Negativo y pregunta siempre en forma base. Does he watch to be in the afternoon? In this case, because you have to pay attention to the subject, he. So we don't say, yes, I do, or no, I don't, no. So now we say, yes, he does, no, he doesn't. Those are the responses, are the responses, right? Yes, he does, no, he doesn't, okay? So in other words, in other words, when you have, do I, do you, do we, do they? So we use like this, right? Do I watch to be in the afternoon? Do you watch to be in the afternoon? Do they watch to be in the afternoon? That is with those specific you know, subjects. But if you have the third person singular, you say, does he, does she, does it? Does Josue, does Carmen, does my father watch to be? So we can vary, right? We can vary the subjects. That is the way. It depends. It depends on the subject. But depending on the subject, right? but that is the third person singular. He, she, and it. Okay. If, let me give you another example with this bar, in this bar, sorry. I will say, 
do they play soccer on weekends? Do they play soccer on weekends? We answer yes, they do. Or no, they don't. Do they, we need to pay attention to the subject, right? And listen to the question. Do they play soccer on weekends? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yeah, exactly, Rosa. We, with this kind of question, with a third person singular, when you say, that's it, it's because you're referring to an animal, a thing, or an object. So let's include, for example, here, does the dog, for example, watch TV in the afternoon? Does the dog watch TV in the afternoon? It can be possible, right? Some, some, some dogs watch TV, right? Yeah. Does a dog watch TV in the afternoon? It's possible, exactly. They play soccer on weekends. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Right. Again, if I ask you, do you watch TV in the afternoon? You say, yes, I do. No, I don't. For example, um, Andrea, do you watch TV in the afternoon? No, it, no, it don't. No, it don't, exactly. Um, thank you. Kirsten, do you watch TV in the afternoon? Yes, I do. Yes, you do, okay, excellent. Um, let me see. Sandra, do you watch TV in the afternoon? No, I don't. I don't, good. Excellent. That is the way, right? And it can vary. It depends on the question. Va a depender de la pregunta, claro. If you have this way, right? Does he watch TV in the afternoon? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Or it can be like, does your mother, for example, does your mother um, work? On weekends? What is the way we answer? We say yes, she does. No, she doesn't. That is the way. Does your mother, does she work on weekends? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. For example, Marvin, does your mother work on weekends? No, she doesn't. She doesn't, good. Um, for example, okay. Edma, does your mother work on weekends? Yes, she does. She does. Ana Maria, she does. does does she does? Good. Ana Maria, does your mother work on weekends? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay. Uh, Ever, does your mother work on weekends? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Good. Let me see, Maria Julia, does your mother work on weekends? Yes, yeah, she does. Yes, yeah, she does. That is the way, you see? That is the way. Okay, another thing. With just no questions, with just no questions, we can get long answers too. That is another possibility. Con las preguntas de sí y no, podemos también responder de una forma, like, por decirlo así, de una forma larga. Por lo general, siempre se contesta de forma corta. Sí, no. Sí, no. Solamente eso. Pero podemos también contestar de una forma extensa. Por ejemplo, I would say, um, do you, let's continue. No, I would change it. Do you watch movies on weekends? No, I would say on Saturdays. On Saturdays. Do you watch movies on Saturdays? Again, you can answer yes or no, right? You can say yes or no. We have some examples, Lee. Do you get up early? You say, no, I get up late. That is a long answer, right? So you can say, do you watch movies on, on Saturday? On Saturdays? I can say, yes, I watch for movies, for movies. But if you say no, no, I go out. 
with my friends. If they say no, right? No, I go out with my friends. That is the way. So those are long answers. Long answers. The sound of course largas. It's on valid as a man. Another example. I will say, does your sister um let's say go to the gym on Fridays? No, every day I will say every day. Does your sister go to the gym every day? Does your sister, does she go to the gym every day? I will say, yes. I can say, right, yes. She goes to the gym, you can say, in, in the afternoon. Or if you say, no, she goes to the gym on weekends. Teacher, Only on Saturday and Sunday. Sorry? They said yes, she goes today or yes, today. Sorry, that, yeah. She okay. goes to the, sorry, thank you. She goes to the gym in the afternoon. You said yes, right? Teacher. Yeah, sorry, sorry. It's Walter, I have a question. Walter, tell me. Podemos combinar las respuestas cortas con las largas, por ejemplo, do you watch movies on Saturdays? Oh, yes, I do. I watch horror movies. You can. You can. Okay. It's in this way. Yeah, of course you can. Yes. No, I don't. The two ways are correct. The two ways are correct. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yes, I do. You. I, I, you're welcome. Do you watch movies on Saturdays? Yes, I do. I watch horror movies. Or you can say just like, yes, I watch horror movies. Las dos formas son correctas, claro que sí. Eh, does your sister go to the gym every day? Every day, right? From Monday to Sunday, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Every day. You say, yes, she goes to the gym in the afternoon, only in the afternoon. But if you say no, you can say, right, she goes to the gym on weekends, only on Saturday and Sunday, okay? And the same as, as, you know, Walter asked, you can say, yes, she does. And then you can say, she goes to the gym in the afternoon. Or you can say, no, she doesn't. And you can say, she goes to the gym on weekends. That is why. These are just some questions. Estas son las primeras preguntas. Just some questions. Any questions? Preguntas? I'm going to share this information in the chat. Voy a estar compartiendo la información que se, que, ¿verdad? que se esté dando. Se la voy a compartir por chat. Questions? No? Questions? No question, teacher. Are we good? Estamos bien? Questions, no? Que está a veces preguntas o alguna duda para poder avanzar a las siguientes. For moment, it's okay, but yeah. I practice, I understand or no. Vamos a saber si entendimos o no. Okay, yeah, yeah, of course. Let me ask you a question, it is. Let me see. Um, do you watch movies on Saturdays? It is. For me? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, yes, I do. Very good. If you want to include uh, more information, it is you can do it, right? Yes, I do. And you can say, I watch action movies, for example. Okay, yes, yeah. I do watch um, 
movie da action o se puede I mencionar de qué películas te gustan cuando das una respuesta? Yeah, you can. You can say it is. Yes, I do. I watch action movies. Action movie. Okay. Repeat again. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I watch. I watch action movies. Action movies. Yeah, that is way. Very good. It is. I believe Rosa, you have a question. Sí, eh, solo quería consultarle. Por ejemplo, con las respuestas cuando estamos en tercera persona. El verbo no se le pone la letra S porque ya llevamos el auxiliar. Yes. Pero si dentro de la respuesta larga hay otro verbo, a ese sí se le pone la mm. letra S. Yeah, that's a good observation. De hecho, right. yo ayer hice una así y con duda a ver si usted me la calificaba mal o okay. qué. Yo dije, no sé si es que en realidad no lo escribí bien y no entendió, dije. Yeah, very good. For, for example, eh, Rosa, let's use this question. Does he watch TV in the afternoon? If we say, yes, he does, we can say, well, he watches eh, his favorite TV show, for example. So as you can see, the verb changes because it's an affirmative. Only in affirmative, we change the verbs. We include S, E, S, or I, E, S, as we saw it yesterday. Solo en afirmativo es que los verbos cambian. Solo en afirmativo. And in this case, because you are giving a long answer, as you said, Rosa, yeah, we change it. We change it. But if you say, no, he doesn't, you can say, for example, he... He does, for example, his homework. He does his homework. No, he doesn't because he has to, you know, he does his homework. So it's different. I will say does. Yes. O sea, que ahí, por ejemplo, usted puso, no, he doesn't. He does he his home homework. homework. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí como va siempre el auxiliar, no, it's ah, a, it's no. A, este es el verbo, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. Exactly. Sí, lo entendí. Very good. Gracias. You're welcome. En ese caso, das, no, lo digo en general, ¿verdad? En ese caso, das no es un auxiliar. Recuerden que el verbo es do. Entonces, se me hace construir igual. Das. No es un auxiliar, es un verbo principal. Das is homework. Very good. Okay, let's go with the information questions. Uh, with the information questions, we follow the same structure, but we make some changes. At the beginning, specifically, we use the W's word. Plus do, plus a subject. The verb again is always in base one, always in the complement with the question. Right. So we have W's words. W's words. Do you know W's words? Which ones? W-ish words. What, by, what, who, by, who, which, which, when, how, oh, when, yeah. when, where, where, how, what where? time, I, what, what time. Very good. These are the most common, right? Why, so what, why, who, which, when, where, how, and what time, right? Oh, by the way, here, here we have more information, right? It's about the questions, about the just questions. Okay, this is, you know, the complement, the complement. Okay, this is complementary. Do, do I, do you, do we, do date, and then the verb in the base form, or does he, does she, does he? In the, in the verb. Esa es la forma. Pero como hemos estado practicando. Eso es complementario, ¿verdad? Se los voy a estar compartiendo. Y por cierto, bueno, con el grupo de la noche me han pedido que les comparta las, las clases. Se los voy a estar compartiendo también. Para que puedan ustedes ahí, ¿verdad? Observar, etcétera. 
Uh, and I'm going to continue with this, with the WH questions. What, who, when, where, why, which, why, which how, 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 how many, how, and how often, how often. Those are the WH words, right? Every WH word has a purpose. That is something that we have to keep in mind, right? Cada una de esas palabras tiene un propósito. Y siempre hay que tomarlos en cuenta, ¿verdad? Siempre hay que saber para qué se utilizan. Porque siempre se, utiliza, se, se usan para diversas preguntas, ¿verdad? Y dependen de, de, de tenses, ¿verdad? Va a depender de los tipos verbales. Okay. So, those words are used to make questions that require information in answer rather than yes or no. That is the difference with just the questions. With just the questions, we say yes or no, only that. But with WS words or WS questions, we give more information, the most information. Let's start. What? What is used for, you know, to ask for information? For example. One question. What do you do on weekends? What are you doing weekends? W is word, auxiliary, subject. This is the verb. It's not an auxiliary. Ese es el verbo, no es un auxiliar. Ese es el auxiliar. On weekends, complement. I can say, I go out with my family. That is, a, a, you know, a, that, that is information, right? I'm giving information, what I do. I go out with my family on weekends. That's it, right? What? That is a, the action, that is the activity that I do. What? Okay. For example, I have who. Who is for people? Who is for people? Used to ask about people, right? For example, I can say, who do you live with? Who do you live with? You said, right, well, I live in San Salvador, I live in San Vicente, I live in Chalatenango, et cetera. And then the question is, who do you live with? You said, well, I live with my parents and let's say my, my sister, for example. Who? My parents and sister. Who do you live with? We always respect the structure, right? Siempre respetamos la estructura. W is word, auxiliary, subject, verb, this is the verb, and this is a complement. So this is for people, right? Next, we have when, when is used to ask for time, right? For time, you say on weekends, on Saturday, tomorrow, you say uh, today, in the afternoon, in the morning, you can say right at seven o'clock. That is time, right? For example, when does, let's say, uh, Brian go to school? Again, we respect the, the the, the structure, right? The formula, W is where, this is auxiliary, in this case is does, because we use Brian or he, the verb, and this is a complement. So when does Brian go to school? When? That's for time, right? And we say, okay, he goes to, goes to school every day, every day, right? Brian goes to school because this is the verb. This is the verb. But it changes because it's affirmative, right? It's affirmative. When? Every day. Every day. Okay. That is the way. Any questions so far? Preguntas acá? Who, when? Questions? 
Hmm. 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 Eh, Rosa, we're giving information. Estamos compartiendo información con este tipo de preguntas. Ese es el propósito. Cada, cada palabra tiene un propósito. What is used to ask for information? Libre is actions. What do you do on weekends? I go out with my family. I listen to music. I watch movies. What? Cada una de esas palabras tiene un propósito y se utilizan siempre para cualquier tipo de pregunta, cualquier tiempo verbal, pasado, futuro. Who do you live with? So we ask for people. ¿Con quién vives? I live with my parents and my sister. When does Brian go to school? So we're asking for time. And I say, okay, Brian or he goes to school every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That is the way. And we're using the questions in the simple present. Simple present. Does it make sense, Rosa? Yeah, let me know, let me know, let me know, no problem. Okay, another question. Let's go with where. Where is used to ask for a place or location? A place or location, right? You can say at a supermarket, a school, at home, in Metro Centro, Plaza Mundo, in the park, etc. For example, where does she go? In, let's say during the week, for example. Where does she go during the week? We can say, right, she goes to the park every day, etc. She goes to the park every day. Where? Where is her places? I would say the park. Park. That is the place. She goes to the park every day. Teacher? Yeah. Uh, give me a sample for um, washing, please. For which one, sorry? Uh, as a which, which? Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on. We go, one by one, one by one. Vamos una por una, no se preocupe, ya le voy a dar un ejemplo. Okay, this is where, where is for, for places, for places, right? The park, the beach, a school, at home, restaurant, the, the supermarket, the hospital, places, places. Okay. Another example, let's go with why. Why is used to ask for a reason? You say, right, because, etc. We can say, why do they study English? So we want to say, we want to know a reason. A reason why this person or these people, sorry, are or, or study English, right? Why do they study English? We can say they study English because they want to get more job opportunities. So the question says what? The question says why? Because. This is the reason, that is an explanation. This is a reason, right? An explanation of why. Why do they study English? They study English because they want to get more job opportunities. Remember, they, that's why I say they, right? Listen to the question and pay attention to the subject. Yeah, 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 sure. Ya lo voy a estar enviando, no se preocupe, Rosa. Eso lo voy a estar enviando, al igual como envié lo otro, lo voy a enviar por por chat. No se preocupe, se voy muy rápido, ¿verdad? Es por el, por el tiempo, ¿verdad? También voy bajando rapidito, pero es por el tiempo, para ir explicando cada uno. 
Gracias porque no las he terminado de copiar a media. Bueno, me quedo. De hecho, lo voy a copiar ahorita, que eso es lo que, lo que he dado ahorita. Lo voy a, lo voy a compartir. Gracias. Y welcome. Ok. That is why. What about which? Teacher, en yes. este caso el, el verbo no cambia porque es el mismo study. La diferencia es el que vamos a poner la razón, que sería because. Yeah, it, exactly. It doesn't change because you have to pay attention to the subject too, the subject. Hay que prestar también atención al sujeto. They, no es la tercera persona. Son las terceras personas que cambia el verbo. En ese caso se mantiene en forma base por el subject. Thank you. Para he, she or it, ahí se cambia. He studies English. Pero en ese caso no, no cambia. You're welcome. Uh, which, which is used, is used to ask about choice. Excuse choice. me, teacher. En este que dijo de que sí cambiaba, eh, si era en, en la... En la tercera, en la tercera persona, perdón, en la, en, en la de he, she, en ese caso si cambiara, este, siempre tendríamos que poner eh, el because y, y la, la razón. Yeah. yeah, always, always. Lo que cambia solo es el verbo. Okay. Like this. Why does he study English? He studies English because he wants to get more opportunities. That is the difference. So what you have to do is to pay attention to the subject, the subject, listen to the subject. You have to pay attention to the subject. That's what changes. And that makes it change the verb, according to the present simple. Yeah. Which, I would say, which color do you prefer? So in this case, we have choices, right? Choices. When I say car, we can say a Toyota, Honda, Hyundai, Nissan. Which car do you prefer? And I can say, I prefer the Honda. The Honda. So that is a choice. Choices. Of options, for different options. Which car do you prefer? I prefer the Honda. Some options in ese caso, right? That is the way we use which. It's Excuse me, teacher. Este, yeah. eh, ¿qué, se, ¿Qué significa choices? Choice is a, it's an action. Options, Sara. Options. Okay. When I say car, you know, car brands, we know that we have different cars, right? Honda, Toyota, Hyundai, Nissan, Lambo, I mean, Lamborghini. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. That is a choice. How? How is used to ask for way or phone, you know? So the most common question, it can be like, you know, how does she, she feel today, right? We express feelings and you say, right? She feels uh, good, for example, just that. How does she feel today? Eso se expresa, verdad? Emociones, verdad? Sentimientos. How does she feel today? She feels good. She feels maybe sick, right? It depends. That is how. How many, how many is used to ask about quantity, right? How many? How many is for quantities? So I can say, right, how many, for example, say, how many pets could you have? How many pets do you have? So we're asking for quantities. And I can say, right, I have three pets, three pets. I'm asking for quantities, quantities. How many three pets? Okay, it depends, it can vary. I can say I have five pets maybe. That is a quantity, una cantidad. Teacher, entonces esto para cualquier cantidad de cualquier objeto. Yes. Cualquier cosa. Yes, okay. if it is countable, right? Countable now. Mm -hmm. For example, I can say how many, um, I would say smartphones does he have? 
now say he has three smartphones. That is why cell phones, right? How many cell phones does he have? He has three cell phones. So that is a quantity. And the last one is how often. How often is used to, to, to ask, you know, about frequency. We ask for the frequency of activities. This, this is common to use it, right? In the simple press because we express uh, daily activities, teams, it, you know, etc. Esa bien bien común usarla how often because se expresa más la frecuencia de actividades. For example, how often do you go to the gym? How often do you go to the gym? And you can say, I go to the gym. Uh, let's say three times a week. Three times a week. How often do you go to the gym? How often is the W's word? This is the auxiliary, do. Subject, verb, and complement. We always respect the, the structure. Siempre respetamos la estructura. And the answer is, I go to the gym three times a week. I can say, how often does your father go to work? And I can say, my father goes to work from Monday to Friday. That is a frequency of an activity because my father goes to work from Monday to Friday. That is a way. So that's, those are the, the WH questions, guys. WH questions. Any questions so far? I want to ask a question. Tell me, yeah. What will be the difference between uh, how many and how much? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, go, going back with how many and how much in this case, let me tell you that how many, how many is for countable nouns and how much is for uncountables. Uncountable nouns. Right. For example, countable nouns, we have Apple, computer, uh, let's say cell phone, uh, pencil, etc. Those are countable nouns. On countable nouns, we have money, milk, water, uh, traffic, etc. For example, again, how many Let's say, how many brothers do you have? And you can say, I have two brothers. That is a countable noun. Brothers. Brothers is a countable noun. Okay. If we have much, you can say, right? How much money do you have in your pocket or in your wallet, let's say? How much money do you have in your, your wallet? You say, I have, for example, $50. $50. Money is uncountable. That is the difference. But how many and how much? What do we use them for quantities too? All time for that. Ambos se usan para lo mismo, para cantidades, pero va a depender el sustantivo, si es contable o no contable. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else questions? No question, teacher. No. Okay. So listen, here we have more examples, right? What do you watch on TV? A film. This is another way, you know, you can respond to the questions, right? This is another form of responding to the questions, right? We can observe that it's only the answer that we have, right? We can say it like it's the director of the grant, right? What do you watch on TV? A film. Where do you live? Where do they live, sorry? In London. What do you cry? Because I'm sad. When does your dad arrive? At 9.30. What time does she finish her lesson? At 14 o'clock. These questions are good, right? Are good, absolutely. That is another way you can respond to the questions, right? If, however, we use these forms when you're speaking, right? When you're having a conversation. They can be possible, but automatically is incorrect because you have to respect, you know, the question, I mean, the, the structures. 
más que todo ese tipo de respuestas son válidas y se usan bastante cuando hablamos, cuando tenemos una conversación. Sabemos la pregunta que se nos hace, pero respondemos para específicamente vamos al comercio o al grano, vamos al grano y solo contestamos eso. Ah, pero, y eso es cuando hablamos, cuando tenemos una conversación. Pero hablando de una forma gramatical, cuando es un texto académico, no es ah, eh, tan recomendable que hagamos eso. Hay que seguir la estructura. Les recomiendo que siempre sigamos la estructura. ¿verdad? What do you watch on TV? I watch a film on TV. De esa forma. Where do they live? They live in London. Where do you live? I live in London. I live in San Salvador. We always follow the prompts. Siempre seguimos las preguntas, las estructuras. Okay. Uh, another one that I forget to mention, by the way, is what time. What time is similar to when? What time is similar to when? This is for time, right? And you can ask, what time do we have our English class? What time do we have our English class? I can say we, or we can say, right? We have our English class at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. What time? At 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. That is why. Okay, that is another W's word. What time? What time? Okay. Well, guys, it's, these are, you know, the, the gist of questions and the information questions. Do you have any doubts or interrogations? Tenemos preguntas, dudas, comentarios? Yeah, Rosa, yeah, right now. Let me send this all the questions before I forget. Mm, and the last one was, why does he study? Let's end. Oh, no. Okay, let's see. There you go. Okay, listen, I need you to practice. You're going to complete these questions with do or does. Listen, you need to complete the questions with do or does, only the auxiliaries, only the auxiliaries. And then you have to write four more questions. What does it mean? You're going to complete from one to six, you're going to use do or does. You have to complete using do or does. And the last ones, seven, eight, and nine, and ten, you have to construct new questions. You need to use these words, right? Does, what time, do, and when. Okay. What I want to do, I need you to complete all the questions, right? Complete the questions, and at the same time, I want you to answer them. Answer every question, okay? In your novels. In your novels. Vamos a completar las preguntas, ¿verdad? Y al mismo tiempo responderlas. For example, number one. Number one says, do you get up early on weekdays? Do you get up early on weekdays? Right, this is a just a question. So you can say, um, yes, I do. And you can give more information. You can say, uh, I get up early. I get up early because I have to work for time. That's what you have to do. So question, answer. Question, answer. Question, answer. Number two, question, answer. All right, let me give you number two. Okay, number two. It says, what time you go home? What do you think? Do or does? Do or does? Do. Do, exactly. Do, do you go home? Excellent. What time do you go home? That is the answer. So then you answer the question. And you say, okay, I go home 
at let's say 5 p.m. 5 p.m. That's it. So question answer, question answer. And at the end, from seven to 10, you have to construct new questions and you need to answer the questions with your own information. Con las últimas cuatro hay que eh, construir nuevas preguntas, sus propias preguntas y contestarlas también. So that's what you have to do. I need you to practice the chest on questions and information questions. Okay? Does it make sense what we have to do? Is this clear? ¿Está claro lo que tenemos que hacer? Eh, solo tengo una pregunta. Ya, yeah, también. ¿Se la vamos a enviar o, o la vamos a ver en clase mañana cuando ya la resolvamos? Mm, well, you can, you can do something. You can send it uh, through WhatsApp. It's okay, through the WhatsApp group. And tomorrow we're going to practice, no problem. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Podemos enviarlo por WhatsApp, si gusta. La, 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 la. Le va a quedar como tarea, por cierto. Que ya, es, ya es hora. Quiero que practiquen con las preguntas. Háganlo. Y lo comparten, permítanme, permítanme. Y lo comparten, ¿verdad? En el grupo de WhatsApp. Si gustan el grupo de WhatsApp, si gustan, mandármelo a mí personalmente, con gusto. Y mañana, ¿verdad? Si tenemos el espacio, lo vamos a ver. Vamos a tratar la manera de discutirlo, ¿verdad? Las preguntas. Las respuestas, y claro, que ustedes compartan sus respuestas. ¿Perdón? Este, ahí solo vamos a completar eso, o aparte tenemos que formar más oraciones. Eh, no, from one to six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, you need to complete just by using do or does and answer the questions. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, you have to construct new questions and you have to answer them. De la una a la seis, hay que completar con do or that, solamente eso, y responder. Preguntas okay. con su propia información. De la siete a la diez, hay que construir nuevas preguntas y luego responder las también con su propia información. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. eh, well, everybody, is, is this clear? Any questions? No? question no thank you okay listen i just want to make sure that everybody is in my list right voy a mencionar a los que no tengo lista carmen claudia eugenia jose chavez jose chavez marcela ovidio ovidio Okay. Okay, solamente él. Estamos bien, entonces. Eh, well, guys, before to go, any questions antes de finalizar? No sé si hay más preguntas. Y recuerden que mañana tendríamos clase de una a dos. Vamos a reponer la del martes. ¿verdad? Es que los espero a la una en punto. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, guys, thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for everything. You bye. 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 Thank you. Take care. Bye. Blessings. Bye. Bye. Teacher. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.